morning good afternoon it's not morning at all it's <laughs> afternoon <laughs> and uh, we've just pulled up at sainsbury's we are heading in to um get a starbucks we're gonna go um just into sainsbury's to get some bits yeah. nothing too major i feel like my hair is massive today it's kind of very out of control and large full of, full of secrets it is full of secrets <laughs> i think the thing is like before when you've had it done before you've washed it for the first time because with um extensions you don't wash them very often and that sounds gross not like not very often but when you first had it done you have to leave it a few days and it just gets very out of control i feel like i'm having having that it's moment very, um life it is it mm -hmm. is it's mm -hmm. taking over the world um but today is episode two of vlogmas so like i said we're just doing this today and then tomorrow is definitely going to be more of a home working day i've got so so much work to get done because i was away in birmingham and everything else so i really do need to get on with that but we do need some like christmas presents and stuff we're yeah. struggling for inspiration aren't yeah. we it's yeah, yeah. I'm finding this year harder than any other year for knowing what to get. I don't know why. I just mm. can't. Well, I don't get many presents. I don't. I don't receive any. No, no you I mean, mean buy. I don't <laughs> yeah. buy many presents for people. Mm. Um, we tend to do a secret Santa with my husband's family, so uh, right, that okay. kind of makes it easier. Oh, that's so well, much easier. it is. But I've got his older brother's girlfriend. Oh, so someone He's you don't very know lovely, very well. But I don't know her that well. So, yeah, that's yeah. what's hard when you don't know the person. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. tricky. So, yes, yeah, so we're looking for some present inspiration. I've got some people's gifts, but I just have a couple of people I'm really struggling. So, we're going to have a wander around. There's some other shops here as well as Sainsbury's, so we might just have a little wander as well. So, Becky and I are in Starbucks and we have just bought our reusable cups. These are actually green. Becky's having all sorts of trouble over there. She can't open the cup. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Are you in? You're sorted. And um, these are green, but they actually turn red when you put the hot drink in, which... Oh no, do you want me to get you a napkin? Right, we're back. She's now sorted. <laughs> and um, I have a banana bread, which I have warmed up. I always get that, it's really nice. But yeah, these um, change color, we did not realize. So they're dark green, and when you put the drink in, it goes red. Love it. So we're very happy with our reusable cups. Very cool. Better for the environment too, of course. So we're all done in Starbucks and we're just going to pop into B&M just to kind of see what their Christmas stuff is oh, like. Look, I don't... look how green it is. Oh yeah, there's the thing being green. I actually do prefer it green, I think, but I love I that it goes red. I like, I like both. Yeah. We were very excited by it either way. They have pigs in blanket gravy. That sounds crazy. That sounds good. I don't think I'd like that. As well as the orange after eights they had last year, they now have cherry and mint flavour. Mm -hmm. Not sure what those would be like. I'm almost tempted to try them. Becky's trying to reach something. We've had to resort to desperate measures. <laughs> um, I think that's nice for a present. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a it's a secret Santa. Yeah. Oh no, definitely. Yeah. I would love that. Well, I'm going to make her a scarf as well. It's so random the stuff they have in here. They have Rainbow Drops <gasps> branded tea lights. I know what that's going to be. Oh. Oh, squishy. Are they the um, oh, no. squishy I ones? Oh no! I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be. Does it smell bad? It just smells horrible. These ones, and um, they've got love hearts too. These they actually smell, smell really nice. I'm tempted oh, to get these. Oh, What's this one? oh I'm getting these. Chops, chops. These smell really, really. They really do, don't they? They smell oh, good. They do. They they smell very strong. Oh, see, these are strawberry They're as well. Better. These ones, right? So we They're can recommend good. these. I'm gonna get these. Okay, we've decided we really like it in here. That's really nice. We never come in here, do I've we? Never been in here. This is so good. I have been in, but not recently. Oh, all sorts of <laughs> We've got a bit carried away. No, there is the odd thing that's a bit bizarre, but we're actually really, really well, I've liking. Almost, I've almost finished my Christmas shopping now. Yeah, they've actually got some quite good. Oh. That keeps scaring us. They've actually got some quite good games in here, like, and um, we've just found Twerk Pong, which is hilarious. Becky was thinking for like a works Christmas kind of thing, you know. They also have the tiny hands game where you have to do little challenges with these tiny hands, which I always find really funny. And then they have like little card games and stuff. Things like this are good for Christmas, like after you've eaten or when people are kind of, when people don't want to play a board game that they have to get really invested, but I you don't just- I know what that means. I always want to play a board game. I mean, game. Becky always <laughs> wants a board game. Why does this exist? I understand why a candle making kit exists, yeah. but this particular one, just no. Seems odd. I think it's not allowed. It seems weird. It does. Like, can, who would you buy that for? Like, you would not buy that for a family member. I might buy. It, I might buy it as a gag gift, like for Kate or I mean, something. It looks too kind of 
um, like it's supposed to be serious. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. too serious. They do have Santa. They're really cute. I like chair those. Covers. <laughs> I really it depends like whether them. that's to your taste, but that is actually I like quite, it. that's quite funny for it, Christmas Day. It's, I think it's tacky, but I really like. Yeah, them. they're four pounds for two, so that's actually you know not too bad. We're a bit taken with this Christmas wipe clean tablecloth. The broccoli is singing. We just popped in for. We were like, let's just have a little look. It's your fault. I didn't even. We're both. Here. We're both. I don't like this. Stuff, clearly. <laughs> oh, that's I cute. Just, like, God, stop it. We need, to, Lord, we, need, we need to leave. So we are now out of B&M. We've just taken our stuff to the car because it escalated very quickly in there, as you saw. We actually got some really good stuff though, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I'm really pleased with Yeah, me. it was good. So now we're going into Sainsbury's now. We've dumped off all of those bags, but I got some good wrapping stuff. I might do a little haul later, but I won't be able to show you all of it because some of it was presents. But <laughs> yeah, we got some good stuff. Yeah. Now we're nearly getting run over. So I thought I'd just quickly show you a few of the bits that I got from B&M. And I think actually most of this was from B&M. Some of it I can't show because it's for gifts. So I got a really large large gift bag. I like to just have a few in different sizes in case I get things that are not very wrappable because I hate trying to wrap things that are a really odd shape and then they don't look very good. I got that bag which is really cute for, um, that one was for a specific reason. I've got a gift for that one to go in. Then I just got this pack of three for just to have around if I need any smaller ones and those were £2. I think the big one was £1.25. That was from B&M. I think that one was £1.25 as well. I did pick up these crisps which are roast beef and Yorkshire pudding flavour. I'm going to assume that they're basically roast beef flavour. I can't imagine tasting Yorkshire pudding in a crisp. I will try them and see because you never know. I got some biscuit brew from Sainsbury's because we were having a biscuit brew emergency. I picked up those cherry and mint after eights just to see what they're like. I did get a little thing of microwave popcorn from B&M. These little individual packets are 29 pence which is super cheap just for a snack. I got the Love Heart Strawberry Tea Lights because they smell really, really good. I also did pick up some mint dime bars. You know how obsessed I am with anything minty or mint chocolate, and I've never ever seen mint ones of these before. Then I got this, which is a pack of gift tags, ribbon and bows, just because I needed more in this colour. And those were four pounds, I think, but it's quite a big box of those. And in Sainsbury's, I got one of these hand dispenser things for the sellotape. You can kind of see it in the picture there. So you can kind of hold down the paper and then peel the tape at the same time, just because it's very frustrating sometimes. <laughs> and these work really, really well. And I did pick up a couple of the refills for it as well. And that was, like I say, in Sainsbury's, I got those. I did get some other bits, but like I said, I can't show them because they were for gifts. And actually behind here, I should open my calendar for today and have today's MS biscuit. Hey everyone, it is now the next day. I feel like I'm right under a spotlight here, so it's a bit bright. I'm actually starting today off in the evening, which may happen during Vlogmas. Anything could happen. It could be morning, afternoon, or evening when I begin this, who knows? And I'm just about to make some dinner, so I thought I would just show you what I'm making. We don't have a HelloFresh box this week because originally we thought we might be moving this week, and we definitely didn't want to have kind of more meals than we would want to if we're potentially going to be either not here or I think moving week is probably quite a high takeaway week I think most people would agree or just you know anything that you can do or just go out to eat because you just don't even have any of your stuff anywhere but as it is it looks like we're going to be moving next week so I'm making a risotto I grabbed the stuff to make that when I was at Sainsbury's yesterday because I knew I would need to make something for tonight you guys know I love risotto it's my absolute favorite thing and it's really really easy to make and has very limited ingredients so I've got my risotto rice my little stock pot there it's the vegetable one I have some broccoli chopped up my leeks are already in the pan and then I have my tomatoes over here in some hot water I just put them in boiling water then I'll replace that with cold water and that way you can get the skin off the tomato really really easily and that's pretty much it and then I just add a little bit of cheese and then you add the hot water so it's actually reasonably healthy having risotto because it is just the rice is obviously carbs but other than that it's pretty much just vegetables and then a little bit of cheese at the end okay I thought I'd just show you a progress shot so the leek the rice the water and the stock pot are in there and I've just put the broccoli in you don't want to put it in too soon otherwise it goes very mushy and nobody wants mushy broccoli so that's just gone in and once the broccoli is cooked and the rice is cooked then at the end I will just put my tomato in which I've taken the skin off which is a little bit of a pain that's the only part of making this particular risotto that is a little bit of a nuisance which is taking the skin off the tomato and all the seeds and all the rest of it but it is really nice when you've got your tomatoes chopped up and you do need like firm tomatoes like this rather than 
the tinned ones because they're too sloppy. Um, so that is my tomatoes ready to go, but I really, really love this risotto. It's my favorite one. Mushroom is my second favorite, definitely. I'm all done with my risotto. I totally forgot to show you guys what it was like when it was finished, but I've shown you risotto on this channel lots of times before, so I know you know what it looks like. And I'm just having a tea, a biscuit brew specifically. If you can hear rustling, it's the cat. I'm not sure what she's doing down there. And I just wanted to update you on Netflix. So I asked you guys for recommendations of what to watch in one of the recent vlogs and loads of you suggested Wednesday. So many people suggested that and Kate and I binged watched it. We absolutely loved it. You kind of watch one or two episodes and then you're just completely hooked and we just could not get enough of it. It really is so good. So thank you to everyone who recommended that. I've been recommending it to other people. It really, really was amazing. We've got a few more of your recommendations to get to and something else we've actually been watching on Netflix is Firefly Lane. I don't know if anyone's seen that. It's actually really, really good. It's a story about two best friends and we've just really been enjoying it. we gave it a chance and just thought yeah we'll give that a go and it's actually ended up being really really good so if anyone else is stuck for something I can highly recommend that and I'm just going to go upstairs now to my desk I don't want to get too into any work or editing or anything but I've got a couple of work emails to get sorted so I'm going to do that and then I will be back with you guys in the morning hey everyone so it's now a Sunday I honestly don't actually know what date it is though I, I don't know at the moment with this moving business going on it is so <laughs> Things have started to progress now in terms of an actual definite moving date because they kept giving us dates and then it kept moving, there kept being holdups. As you know with house moving that often happens and it's just been a nightmare because we just don't know whether we're coming or going. But it now appears that we are going. I think we do now have a date. It looks as if we've got the coming week to get ourselves organised and then we'll be moving the following week. It's going to be very very close to Christmas. I don't know what that is going to do for Vlogmas. I'm going to do my best. Like I say this is completely unexpected us moving so close to Christmas. We thought it would have happened way before now and it's yeah it's just a lot so today is a Sunday like I was saying I'm just having a little rest at the moment it's been go 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 and since it's Sunday I thought I would just watch a little bit of TV I've got my snuggly blanket it is absolutely freezing in the UK at the moment like so cold I don't even really want to go out unless I absolutely have to it's that cold I've also got some popcorn here and I've been watching a few different things I'm currently watching something on I think this is my five like the channel five catch-up channel and it's called Maxine I've been watching a lot of crime stuff and this is about Maxine Carr which is to do with a murder from many years ago in the early 2000s in the UK that happened and um, it's like a drama version of it and it's quite interesting actually I do watch a lot of stuff like that then I really need to redo my nails and I will show you guys that as well and what I use a lot of you asked about the nail polish I had on in the last vlog so I'll show you that and everything as well when I go downstairs I also just wanted to show you my new boots so you might remember in the Birmingham vlog there was nothing in Primark in terms of kind of normal shoes and bags and all of that type of thing. It was a complete flop trying to find anything in there but I managed to get these in the end from New Look because my other black boots that I have have totally fallen apart like the sole has actually come away. If I like things I tend to just absolutely wear them until they are completely gone and these ones I really liked. I was looking for a pair that are a little bit chunkier so as you can see the sole on these is quite thick and they're more rounded. The ones I had before sort of had a slight pointiness to them which is the only thing I didn't like about them so I really love these they've got that kind of elastic bit there but they do have a zip as well and yeah they're kind of a suede look I got these from New Look and they were in the sale so if they're still available I'll link them below and these are for me to wear with like dresses and play suits with black tights in the winter so I really really like those and also I've got another gift bag to add to the collection that I bought in B&M this one is actually from Asda and I'm just living for this it is avocados I've got some paper like this from Paper Chase a few years ago it's got like lots of different little Christmassy avocados on I just love that it was one pound as you can see from Asda so I had to get that as well and I'm going to be doing some present wrapping probably in the next vlog I think so we are currently watching Firefly Lane I was telling you guys about this on Netflix we've been really loving it it's really good and also doing nails and this is the color I've gone for this time which is kind of a burgundy colour I just thought for winter that was really nice I'll have a look for the shade on the bottle in a second so I can tell you and my nails have actually really grown loads the last few weeks normally my own nails are not this long so that's really good and for those of you who asked about the colour that I had on in the last vlog so this is the brand it's a gel polish that we use this one is called where's the shade on these on the bottom 
um, Break the Ice, so that's the white, and the other one, which is what I had over the top, it's like a clear kind of pink, and that one is called So Nude, and those came as a set of two. And this is currently the one that I'm in the middle of using, that I'm putting on at the moment. This is a slightly different brand. This one actually doesn't have a name, it has a number, which is 80557. I guess that's the shade name. Jet is uh, helping out in the background here. She's very um, excitable tonight. What is the matter? Yeah, what's wrong with her? No, we don't. She's having one of her little moods today, bless her. So it's way later on now, the nails are finished, I did my toes as well, all completely done while we were watching Firefly Lane, which is really, really good. I can highly recommend it. We've got so into it now and there's a new series that it's just rolled into, so we're getting into that and really, really like it. And I think I'm going to wrap up this episode of Vlogmas here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I say, these are probably a bit shorter than my regular vlogs, but there will be more of them. Goodness knows with the moving how that is going to go, when I'm going to get to edit them, what kind of videos you're going to be seeing of us surrounded by boxes. I don't know it's just the craziest time to be moving but hopefully it will all be okay we are kind of somewhat stressed about it but also just trying to not get stressed because there's really no point it's happening when it's happening and we just need to get on with it so it's all good we're trying not to stress too much um but if you guys did enjoy this episode please do give it a thumbs up i hope you guys are all staying warm wherever you are it's very very cold if you're in the uk so i hope you're all well and doing good and i will see you really soon for the next episode of vlogmas bye Thank you.